You know, every year, one of the most, most exciting things to do in our gardens is plant tomatoes, it Judy. Is. And so we're going to give you a few tips on how you, to, to ensure success for your own crops. You know, when I think of one of the big tips is to add calcium or lime into the planting hole. This way, if you add it in, you won't have the blossom end rot, which is that black kind of ends of your tomatoes once they get ripened, and it makes them really unsightly. So use about a quarter cup at the bottom of your planting holes of lime and just kind of mix it in there. Then once you do that, just pop your tomato out. Now, if you're going to plant tomatoes deep, which you can do, you can plant them much deeper than they are in the pot, be sure and just pinch off those uh, extra little leaves, fluff up the roots a little, and just drop it in the hole. And you want to add a little bit of extra soil in there and then get some good transplant fertilizer. We're using a spoma and you want to put about two or three tablespoons right around in that planting hole there. And then usually, you know, it is kind of scary to plant your plant too deep because we often say don't do that. <laughs> but like, you know, tomatoes are one that you can. So don't be afraid to get it in there good, give it a little tamp down and you're ready to go. And another great tip is in case you're still having cool nighttime temperatures, you need to protect those tomatoes to get a jump on the season. We have something called walls of water and it's this plastic ring that has these um, tubular holes in it and you fill it up with water. Use a bucket in the center and it kind of gives it some support and you just kind of go around with your hose and fill up each one of these little cells. And all you do is kind of slip it right over that tomato there. And at night you kind of close the top and then it protects that tomato. You can, for some extra support, just put your tomato cage right around it. You can do that too. Now, if you just have tomato cages and you don't have a wall of water, you can put those in to prepare for when they start growing. But if a cold night snaps up and we get a little frost, you can throw some frost blanket over the cage or you know wrap some clear plastic around it, whatever works, just to give that plant a little extra protection. You know, your tomatoes are gonna have a great start with all these tips. So really get out there and get your tomatoes and get them in the ground.